Ooh, right my friends, welcome back to another video, welcome back to another reaction video, my name is Jacob McDonald, welcome to my YouTube channel, and today I'm going to look at the game the NFL wants you to forget, and look, if I've got any anything to say about it, I, I, I'm, I'm going to bring it back to the fore, forefront of, uh, of, of, of the YouTube algorithm, look, this video is never going to be ranked as such, it's never going to be thrust into the YouTube algorithm, the YouTube algorithm. <laughs> Excuse me. But what it is going to do is, you know, add another video to my YouTube library. And look, hey, this is a this is a video I've clicked on. Um, I've wanted to know what 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 happened, and it is officially the most popular video on KTO's YouTube channel, with fifteen and a half million views now that's something else and if if if, if it look if nothing else i just hope that this video is monetized for this cunt because that would be that that's going to be at least fifty thousand dollars i mean that's that's a lot of money at least thirty thousand maybe not fifty maybe thirty thousand either way fifteen and a half million views i'm going to give my view to it uh kto the game the nfl wants you to forget and looking at the thumbnail i mean there's a lot of there's a lot of bottles on the field, right? A lot of beer bottles. Beer bottles? Geez, some of them look pretty pretty damn big, actually. They could be wine bottles. Either way, why on earth was the crowd that determined to throw that amount of beer bottles on the field? I mean, at the end of the day, like that's 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 disrespectful. Um, one beer bottle to the head can actually knock some cunt out. And there's, I'm going to say there's thousands, hundreds if not thousands of, of beer bottles on the field. Either way, uh, 9 minutes and 10 seconds long, the game the NFL wants you to forget. Let's get into it. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Yeah, Whether nah, you need a domain, I don't, I don't website, know about or online that, store. Come on, mate. A day where NFL themselves. People are getting hurt. Oh, my He's God. Down, split his head. And it's getting ugly here in December 16th, 2001. Jacksonville versus Cleveland. Head and he's down, split his head wide open. The fans have got to well, control I, <sighs> Look, whether you're um, causing trouble in a bar or whether you're playing professional football, if you cop a beer bottle to the head, it's not going to be good. People are getting hurt. December 16th, 2001, marks a day that the NFL no, wants you to No, you forget. can't be doing that. It was a complete and utter catastrophe. A day where NFL officiating was a total disaster and showed how scary and disgraceful an angry mass of sports fans can be. But is this first, Jacksonville or is this Cleveland? Um, well, being that there's a Cleveland Browns helmet there, I'm assuming it's a Cleveland Browns home crowd. ...a few years to really put this into context. Well, we look at this 1990 Sports Center, eh? Coming up next on Sports Center, artwork. The Browns are indeed coming to Baltimore. The Browns make a run for Baltimore, leaving no joy behind in Cleveland. In 1995, Cleveland Browns owner Art Modell had become public enemy number one. The Cleveland Browns in the early 1990s were considering a move to Baltimore. Wow, that's something I didn't know. After he decided to move the Browns, to oh, the what is that? What is that? Is that a sick? To say that Browns what fans the, were upset. The fuck's be going on here? Understatement. The NFL. Okay, so all right, so the Cleveland Browns broadcasted their plans to possibly move away from Cleveland, and I'm assuming the Cleveland supporters did not like that one bit, and they are, well, by the looks of things, destroying the home stadium was created in Canton, Ohio, which is now home to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. That's only an hour away from Cleveland. Taking away the Browns would be like if the MLB allowed the Yankees to be relocated. Fans begged and pleaded for the NFL to give their franchise back. And after three well, and they did. seasons without a football team, Cleveland got their wish. Only one season after they got their- Three seasons without a football team? Now what happened there? What, why is that? Either way, who the fuck is Couch? That's what I want to know. Back, their former team had already won a Super Bowl. After their first two seasons ended in disappointing fashion, they had finally gained some momentum in 2001. 
Throughout the first 12 games, the Browns have fought to a respectable 6-6 six six record. Matched up at home versus the Jacksonville Jaguars, this was a must win if the Browns wanted a shot at the playoffs. White lines up as the... Fourth quarter. Minute to go. Browns ball. Fourth and two. They're going to go for it. Ten, 10 yards out. Well, 15 yards out. What have you. Uh, Jacksonville, 15 to 10. What happens here? What happens here? Well, only time will tell. Let's see. With a minute left, the Browns Two yards. down by a five. They need to score a touchdown. But more importantly, they have to get a first down now. It's fourth and two. If they don't convert here, it's the ball game. Pump fakes. Well, it's definitely a first down. Surely, surely it's a first down. Surely. Surely. And the clock stops with 48 seconds remaining. And I'm just wondering if it, well, that was going to be one of those. Honestly, guys, I'm watching this and I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm confused. I don't know what's going to happen with 48 seconds left in the in the game. Cleveland do convert the first down, and they do spike it to stop the clock. Five points down. They need a touchdown. They're within range. They're within the red zone. What happens next? Fake I thought he was going to do that. Now, here's the dilemma. Jaguars coach Tom Coughlin is begging for an intentional grounding, which was true. You can't fake a spike and then spike it. This should be a penalty and a loss of down. The announcers are in agreement. This looks like this will be the call on the field. Even though it'll hurt the Browns, they still have a chance to win the game. So yeah, in fact, I, I, I actually don't know if I've ever seen that. I don't know if I've ever seen a fake spike and then a spike. What we've been told. That the replay officials are Look, if that's illegal, that's illegal. I wouldn't have a clue, but previous play, the fourth down play, they tried to, to buzz the referees on the field, and they wanted the ref to take a look at where the ball was on the Quincy Morgan. Look at reception. that look at the Look at that jacket. Honestly, that is retro. That is that is that's something else. And if I saw that jacket in an op shop for anything less than a hundred dollars, I'd buy it. To review it. Replay buzz prior to the snap. We'll be looking to see if the last pass was incomplete or complete. <laughs> that's the oh, look at these counts. Hey? Oh, wait, that's not how replay works. Everybody knows that you are not allowed to replay something that happened two plays ago. That's one of the most basic rules of the entire replay system. Time was now going by. There was no words from the rest. Well, it's a complete no pass. One knew what of course was going it is. On. Players were confused. It. Coaches were look, confused. He look, the fans it's a complete pass. He caught the pass. Yes, he was hit pretty damn hard. And yes, he may have fumbled the ball, but he recovered it obviously had no idea what was going on but worst of all the refs didn't know either which i've never seen happen in this after review the pass is incomplete first, first down no 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 you can't be doing that not a chance it was a completed pass it was a fumble and a recovered fumble in my opinion this is the game the nfl wants you to forget and i can only assume why So they say he was juggling the ball. And what Butch Davis no, no, is no, saying no, right no. now is we ran another no, no, play. No, 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 And like I said, in the history of replay, Gus, once another play has been run... That's I the thing. Another an, another entire play has been run. They can't go back, surely. Surely. Never seen them go back and say we're, re we're replaying another play. This left everyone on the Brown sideline pissed. And let's be honest. Yeah, the ref doesn't know what the fuck's going on. But... There was a much bigger problem that had begun taking place. Following the game, oh, one of the side mate. referees came out and said, quote, it was scary to the extent that we See that's why that's why professional sports games don't have glass bottles anymore. For this exact reason. It's cans or plastic cups. Because the last thing you want is is glass bottles being thrown from the nosebleeds. 
I mean, it, look, you might be targeting a player, but anyone can cop that on the head, and that's not that's. We didn't know if we were going to get hit that's by That's not bottles, good. Or if the fans were going to charge the field. Eric Westmoreland, a member of the Jaguars team, was quoted saying, They are throwing bottles from behind our bench, so we migrated towards the 50-yard line. With the mob mentality, this crowd of angry fans was capable of anything. One thing was for sure. The Browns versus the Jags, eh? off this field very easy. With no signs of this crowd slowing down, and the players, coaches, and refs just trying to stay as far away as possible, with time tell you that still much. left on the clock, out of desperation, this is what happened. And now they're going to call the end of the game. Don't you dare tell me they're going to call the end of the game. Fuck off, cunt. What? You can't call the end of the game with 48 seconds to go. What's going on here? No, I wasn't expecting that. Oh my god, they're going to call the end of the game. Well, hmm. Well, if you saw bottles flying before, I can only assume how many bottles are going to fly now. Now they call the game. Well, that was With the right 48 call. seconds to go. Yeah, you got to take. I think that. I think this has been. The Jacksonville Jags better get into that Just locker room as soon as possible. Today. The fans have got to control themselves. People are getting hurt. It's ridiculous. You're only oh hurting yourself. Oh, oh, bro. You know, I'll be doing that too. Oh, uh, bro. Five points down, as a Cleveland Browns fan, having the game called off with 48 seconds to go. You know what? If I had a glass bottle in my hand, I might actually pelt it. I, 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 I've got to be honest, man. Into I've got to be honest. Room, Butch Davis is speechless. He doesn't know what to say or what to do. So now, here's the scenario. The refs, players, and coaches had all exited the field and were in their respective locker rooms. Many okay. of whom were scared of getting hurt, and at least now they could breathe a little. Oh, wait. The league office just called. They're making the teams and the referees go back on the field and finish the game. It had been 20 minutes, and now they're being forced to go back out there and have the Jags take a knee. To oh, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Ended. I was not expecting that, but I mean, you know, we've got three minutes left to go in the video, and KTO is one of the best uh, NFL storytellers on YouTube. No, you can't go back out there. You can't. You simply can't. Years later said, quote, Guys were undressed. Butch had already talked to the team. The Jaguars player from earlier was also quoted saying, This was a big uproar because the coaches were like, Hey, they're still throwing bottles. We don't want the players to go back out there. Well, put the helmet the on. I mean, didn't shit. Care. <laughs> you do have helmets on, but I don't know. I don't know what type of helmet they had because I'm assuming it probably wasn't as robust as what they have now. Either way. Here's another twist. Some fans believed that they all came back on the field because they were going to reverse the call. The head of Cleveland's Protective Services came out and said, when they restarted the game, I think that some fans believed that the referees reversed the decision as far as the play with the receiver. The fans thought that was a football decision. This wasn't the case. Both teams gathered 11 random players to go back out there just for this. This was a complete and utter embarrassment from the referees to the Browns fans in the stadium who threw beer bottles and other items to the league office for forcing these players and refs to go back out there. And lastly, to the Browns owner, Al Lerner and president Carmen Policy for making these comments. As I said, I'm not criticizing our fans at all. Why not? Because I don't think it's appropriate today. It wasn't. It wasn't uh, pleasant. I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't suggest anything like that. But but it wasn't World War Three. I don't uh, see any any terrible criticism uh, that would be called for for the fans. I think. Fuck, everybody... Are you kidding me, Jay? What the fuck? <laughs> look, you lost the game, mate. You lost the game fair and square. And the refs. Uh, look, the refs aren't from Jacksonville and they're not from fucking Cleveland they're NFL refs and they're being pelted by glass bottles and you don't see anything wrong with that control themselves considering that uh, uh, they spent 60 minutes out in some pretty bad weather getting uh, bounced around pretty hard depending upon how it's depicted uh, people will understand no one got hurt <laughs> Something very weird happened. So Are you kidding me, G? Fine, we didn't have the most stable. You know what? I, you know what? After watching that, I honestly feel like pelting that cunt with a bottle himself, just to see if no one got hurt. I really do. I really do. Uh, Look, as a Jacksonville Jags fan, I mean, I don't mind the win, but the absolute ignorance 
of these motherfuckers is something else. Reactive. That's something else. But, but it wasn't World War III. The fans got to stop throwing <laughs> crap. We just saw a guy get hit in the head and he's down, split his head wide open. Mm. So you get a bottle in the head. Have you wanted to create a website That's to not promote nice. your work? But like me, you can't code and you just lack any skill to do so. Listen, Squarespace has got you covered. That's it's not nice, but I'll tell you what. That was a pretty cool video. Um, Really hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to it. Uh, It may be controversial. But this is officially the most viewed, the most popular video on KTO's channel. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to have to react to it because maybe I can sway some of those viewers to my channel. I mean, that's what it is. That's the end of the day. That's what it is. That's why we do it. And uh, look, this was the game that the NFL wants you to forget. Uh, most probably most of us have forgotten it. Um, but uh, I certainly haven't. Thank you. Much love and peace out.